write this video is to uh, record our charge controller system that we have. Right now we have a generator here that's powered up uh, to, the, to the controller. And then we have our panel. We have two 200 amp hour batteries connected in 24 volts. So I'll go up here and show you the connections. Before I do that though, I'm just gonna walk over here. We did, um, we did install the four 200 watt panels. You can see them there. So they're all installed. Uh, the positive cable is shown here on the left and it goes over and into the building. And the negative cable is on the right and does the same thing and goes over into the building. Each of these panels connected positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way through. We also have a ground line shown here on, um, on our Unistrut um, that's connected to the panel. And that ground line goes down to um, an eight foot deep buried um, uh, ground line. Uh, so anyway, this is the panel system here. We've checked all of these connections. The challenge we're getting right now is that we're not getting any solar um, input from or any PV input from the generator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb up here and show you our system. Again, this is the MPP uh, 2424 um, LV solar uh, 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 inverter system. And um, that is a 100 amp hour, or 100 amp um, panel that we use for our electrical load. Um, as I come up here, I'll show you, we have two of the provided lithium iron phosphate batteries, 12.8 volts each. Each of these batteries is connected in 24 volt series, so we've got positive going to negative, positive going to negative. And um, this positive terminal here is connected up through to the, um, to the positive lug. Negative is connected to the negative lug, um, so that's running our 24 volt system um, and then this line here is our generator input uh, so that's our for our generators and um, our generator load so we've been able to charge the batteries with the generator and we had about two hours of success trying to charge the batteries with the solar um, panel so, um, mostly because we're having a problem um, getting a charge to come through you can see it's clearly not blinking Again, as I said, we connect, checked all the connections. So I mentioned outside, we had a positive and a negative terminal coming in. So this is the positive cable and it's spun up here. It comes out and it connects over and out to that positive panel. And the negative cable likewise is coiled up here, comes out from here, comes out from PV um, and coils up and goes up and out to the um, solar panel array. Um, when we come up here onto the solar panel array, you can see here, we've got it turned on and it's currently, um, I'm trying to see if you can actually see this because it's really bright, but um, currently reading um, around, hold on one second. It's currently reading um, uh, zero, input on the left because I don't have the generator on. It's not reading any of the batteries. Um, I'm trying to see if I can shade this a little bit so you can see it. Um, and uh, But anyway, it's got a zero input on the watts and a 120 volt output because the batteries are running the inverter. Um, and uh, that's what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna have my brother turn on the generator real quick. And so he's gonna fire it on. And I believe what you'll see here is that we get the inverter to run. Um, and uh, it's will be a little loud, but um, we go ahead and fire this up. Right, okay. So it's just registered that there's, a, that there's a input here. And now it's just connected to bypass and it's coming in and then eventually it's going to start charging these batteries. There it goes. So right now we get the connection to here and it's charging the battery. So right now we've successfully been able to demonstrate that the generator uh, can charge the battery as well. All right. 
So batteries are in charge mode. You can see it's charging. Everything seems to be working there. Um, we'll go ahead and turn it off. The challenge that we're having right now is that no matter what we do, we're not getting any power into PV in. It's not registering that the panels are there. When we installed the system, um, initially it was turned off. And um, when we plugged the terminal in, um, here we plugged one in, screwed it down, we plugged the other one in and it instantly turned on and started charging the batteries. And it showed the solar panels. It was a cloudy day and we were able to see, see clearly that, the, that we were getting a PV input here um, and that we were get, generating a low wattage, about 50 watts, but it was a pretty cloudy day. Um, and then um, we, and then after a couple hours, the sun came out. Um, we came back out here. We heard it beeping, and um, it was still in power save mode, but it was no longer showing a PV in. So we've gone ahead and and checked our connections. Um, we do have everything that we can tell is connected properly, but we believe that the unit might be faulty and not registering a PV in right now because. Uh, we've checked all of the connections on the panels. And the solar panels also have voltage. So when we, when we pull these off and we stick a multimeter on them, we can read about 60 volts coming out of the panels. And that, again, was in the, that was in the evening on a cloudy day. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and go through each of the settings here. So I'm going to go into enter mode. All right, um, see if you can see this. So we've got O1 is UT1, O2 is 60, three is APL, O4 is an O weird sign, O5 AGN, O6 LTD, or some weird D. 07. 08. 09. 50. And then 30 amp on 11. 12 is showing 230 volts. That's 12. 13 is 27.0 volts. I'm trying to make this so you can see it. Uh, 16 is CS, C50 or CSO. 18, 19, 20, 22, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, 20, 30, 31, 01. So those are all the settings for the panels right now. And we just are not getting any input here, but we can read voltage. So we're not quite sure if there's a faulty unit. Um, because it had worked for a few minutes, but again, maybe only two hours. Um, the inverter seems to be working well, and the batteries are staying charged, um, but, um, and the generator is able to, a the, the AC input in is able to function. Um, this, these lines here are just connecting to our, um, our panel, uh, our 100 amp panel that runs um, all of our lights for our building. Again, we're in uh, remote Alaska, just trying to troubleshoot this problem here. So I'll uh, go ahead and sign off for now. Um, but we are pretty certain we have uh, full connectivity. We also did check the fuse um, on the red terminal cable. That fuse um, goes out and is up tucked under the one of the, the first panel. And we checked that fuse, and that fuse um, on the multimeter is uh, functioning. So we get... Um, we get uh, uh, the fuse is, is fully functioning. It's 15 amp fuse that came with the unit. So again, this is what we're seeing right now. Um, if I just scroll down 
this menu, you'll see battery here. Input PV is zero volts, so it's not registering voltage. Input AG, AC is zero because the generator's off. Voltage zero. Batteries are reading 26.4 volts. And we have a small load. We've got a light on right now, 50 watts. of the panels at all so that's our system right now and um, hoping you can help us